Boom, and welcome Wanderers. We're here for another One Take Bag Review, and this time we've got something pretty unique. This is the Spur Pack from Kelty Built. Um, so we're gonna do our usual thing, which is a full walkthrough, interior and exterior, and then a uh, list of two things that we love about this bag. Two things, mm, not so much, and an overall recommendation, should you buy this bag? All right, so we've got a lot going on here with this bag, um, and you may be uh, like I was when I first got this bag, looking at the shape and scratching your head a little bit and saying, what is this form factor of bag? I haven't seen it before. And that's what got me in a place where I wanted to buy this bag and purchase it. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and review it a little bit with you today. So first off, um, we have a cool colorway. You can see that. Um, it's in a uh, camo with a blaze orange topper on it. Um, very unique look and feel to the bag. And then as we uh, check out this bag, you see um, we've got uh, front and center a water bottle pocket. And we've got a pretty massive water bottle hidden away in there. It can be cinched up um, with these side straps um, so it can fold completely flat so there's no water bottle pocket or it can expand all the way for a full size uh, Nalgene or whatever you're carrying. Um, also, no problem for tiny water bottles. They fit in there as well. Uh, so. That's a pretty interesting feature right off the bat. So you could put conceivably anything down into this pocket. You can see, you can unclip it. You can fold it in on itself and make a smaller drop pocket. Um, it's an interesting feature, we'll say. You also then have a side pocket here on the side. Blaze orange interior, I love you know I love a high contrast interior. I've dropped just some reading glasses. You can put sunglasses. It's not felt lined, but you can put your AirPods in there easily. You've got another one, same exact dimensions on this side. I put a cord in there. I put a multi-tool in there. So pretty interesting. And then the, the sling itself is kind of an ambidextrous sling. You can sling it on either way. Um, yeah, so that's everything except for the main compartment. So let's take a look. This has a U-shaped opening, and then it re reveals kind of the interior, a uh, blaze orange, a little bit bordering on reddish interior um, that is, what's the best way to say this? It's about the size of a shoebox. That's what you've got in here. So I tossed an umbrella in there. I tossed an iPad mini in there, tossed a power brick in there, a couple of headbands. Um, so you can see kind of down in there, this is overall about the, the size. My family used to play a game called, is it bigger than a bread box? Um, and the answer for the Kelty built spur pack is, no, it's exactly the same size as a bread box. This is a bread box size bag. This is the size of a loaf of bread, like rainbow white bread. Um, so if you're kind of deciding what could you carry with you with this bag and you're looking at it, the answer is go look at a loaf of bread and that's the size of the, the bag itself. That's the shape of the bag itself. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty unique. So let's talk about this. I think the dead giveaway about what I think about this bag is that the tag is still on it because I'm not keeping it. Um, so that's the, that's the honest truth. I wanted to love this thing. Like I really wanted to love it. It feels good when you wear it, by the way. Um, I forgot to even show you on the back side here, you have a ventilated cushioned panel. And then on the strap, you have a really ridiculously sized cell phone pouch that isn't really the size of a cell phone. Um, I'm not sure what you would use that skinny little pocket for practically. Um, so what do I like about this bag? Two things I like. Well, extra credit to Kelty Built for going with a form factor that I have never seen before. And, you know, at the end of the day, 
there are parts of this form factor that I really enjoy. I like the water bottle on the front. I like the size of the main compartment. I think it's unique. It's interesting to have kind of a, a loaf of bread shaped interior compartment, shoebox shaped. So I like that. And then I've got to tell you, the overall construction is great on this bag. So thing number two that we like, this is a well-built bag. Now, two things I don't like, and these are deal breakers for me. So the first thing I don't like is this is a sling bag. And so to create a bag that when you flip it around and you're wearing it, and then you have to kind of open it in weird ways, so sling bags traditionally will have a side open so that you can swing it around to the side of you, open the pouch, get to a quick access pocket, access most of your gear. Not so with this bag. When you flip it around, what you've got is kind of the water bottle and one of your pockets, this pocket or this pocket, depending on which way you carry it, and then kind of access at an angle to your main compartment, but not really. So what would have been better? A U-shaped opening on the side would have been better, even if you repeated it on both sides. But this entire compartment, while I love the shape, the access is just terrible. And the complete lack of organization is also just totally weird. Um, it's almost like they, they said, how far can we get from a fanny pack? How can we make it, you know, the volume of a fanny pack, but not really the shape of a fanny pack? It, it is interesting, I will give them that. It is not useful. So thing number one that I don't like about it, the access to the main compartment. Thing number two I don't like about it, all these straps. It is so much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight if you count the grab handle, and then nine, 10, and this floppy water bottle. It's just so extra. There's so much hanging off of this bag for such a small bag. Compare it to something I use all the time, which I am going to do a, a review on next. This is a Mountain Smith sling pack. What do I have on here? The strap. That's it. That's all you need. You don't need a million things hanging off the bag. Um, so, should you buy this bag? I, no, no, I don't think so. I, I'm, I'm trying to think of the use case. Um, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's a hunting use case that I'm not familiar with. Um, but for me, there's so many bags in this particular uh, size range that I would just say, it's just not your go-to. Go with the Patagonia Atom sling um, or, you know, the smaller Moab from 511 or uh, really any of the slings you've seen me review on this channel. But I don't love it. Um, so, uh, Kelty built A plus for innovation, uh, D, I think, for execution. Um, it's just not a useful bag and the main access is so hard to get to. Um, but everybody... That's the review. Thank you so much for joining. We will see you next time. Bye, Wanderers.